Welcome back everyone to the Gross Deutsche Bund mod, I'm your host Herr Mokalava, and right now we are looking at what? The UK actually did a really good job, that's basically what I'm going to put it as, here are the casualties so far, um, we've taken quite a few, they've taken quite a few, a little bit more, but they've done a, a, a really really good job, I'm actually surprised, they're actually, you know, at the end of last episode they actually landed in like Normandy and stuff, but they actually pushed through and took Paris and they're doing relatively quite well, so... All these guys are caught up here, which is great, 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 great to see. So we're going to go in immediately. And we are slowly trying to sink convoys. We'll see what we can do. These guys are circled here as well. Um, I don't know if we can actually win here, maybe. Hopefully we can, but has to defense. We're also doing some intelligence stuff. we got some comments to go through. And then we'll probably extend the line and just ha start hammering ho home away at these people. So, uh, there. beat these guys up, please. Oh, hello. Who can I give you my stuff? Ah, look at the convoys. Very good. Sink those pieces of garbage. Um, actually, do any other fighters? We can, oh, we don't. Okay, then. Pretty typical. Um, we should be doing okay up here, though. Oh, AJ. Oh, well, that is not good at the beginning of the episode, but first comment. Um, someone says I should fix the Hungarian and Austrian borders. Well, Austria no longer exists. And this doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'll be honest. This looks really nice. Maybe this, this is the way it should look in real life. Like, this is looking very good, in my opinion, but maybe that's just me. Oh, are they trying to escape? No, 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 no. Not today. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Let you guys get over here. Uh, go in, boys. Go in. Go all the way to Dunkirk. You are not going to stop until you hit Dunkirk. They are going to starve, and they're going to like it. And we're definitely going to need some more rubber and aluminium, as the British might say. Very nice. Oh, would you look at that? Nice. Wait, okay, who can't give us their stuff? Is it, uh... Ah! Oh, Iran. Baby. It's alright. We'll probably try to make our own refiners anyway, so it's okay. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. And there goes Japan declaring war on the good old U.S. of A. And, oh, there goes those guys. And Japan is... Japan? What are you doing? Unknown focus, huh? Oh, I can't really tell. They're fighting with the Chinese right now, though. Very good. Very good. I love that the British actually were competent. They're actually somewhat competent. So at this point, I'm going to extend the line a little bit further. So we can have a much greater uh, attack when we do general attacks. And I'll do something like that. I want to send the tanks down here, though. I want to encircle more soldiers, so that'll be good. Because Brest is currently the capital, we must take it. We must take the Brest. Oh, we already... Oh, there you got it. Nice. Good job, guys. Um, yeah, you must have tried to go in, too, I suppose. There you go. That's pretty good. See? Yeah, pretty good. See? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. Up next, we're going to come right here, and then hopefully divide them up here or something or so like that. If it's your following, which is very, very good. Ooh. We lost a submarine, even though we don't have that many subs left. Passive defense is also very, very nice. You are doing a great job. We will have to invade Spain after this. We'll focus on the Soviet Union. Which would be awesome. There's a lot of guys here, though. Let these guys move around first. Five divisions. How strong are these guys? Uh, they're actually fairly well strong. So, we'll see. Actually, how much more manpower do they have left? They either have no manpower. They have some manpower. How is their equipment looking? Um, Not bad. They got some stuff here. I mean, doing a general attack is probably a really bad idea, but we could try it. Uh, good? Anything here? Let's go organization recovery rate. Actually, do we have any other upgrades? No, no. No, and... Oh, hello. Nope. Oh, actually, you do. Henry has this. Oh, we can see what happens. It might go well, might not go well. I know this line probably is not going to go great, but... Over here, it should go okay. I don't want to be able to... Well, we're doing okay, yeah. And we did army innovations too. The lessons learned that the facilities in the USSR will allow us to further improve our doctrines and equipment. However, this time we'll be we will keep the advances to ourselves. Around the Stalin line, social justice. Um, <clears throat> Hitler's anti-Semitic propaganda has created a rift in our society has led to the rather forced expatriation of hundreds of thousands of Jewish Germans during his reign. Lots of families were expropriated. It is time for us to reconcile making things right with these th with things stabilizing now. We have enough credibility to make it happen. Very good. You're actually doing quite well. Um, if you want to make it a little easier on ourselves, just go there first. Oh, and we do have enough PP. What do we want to use PP for? Uh, realize European unity, maybe eventually. Raise conscription level. Oh, we also get milch, just because interception is always nice to have two anyways. Uh, I'll do that one. Because we're still building a lot of refiners and military factories, so. Keep beating the crap out of them if you can, and do that too. Thank you. Alright, we have another light cruiser in here. Very good. Backhand blow, followed up with a finish to our land auction with more tank stuff. Nice. And it looks like the Brits tried to invade the, these guys down here, but it didn't work out so well. Uh-oh. Uh, what happened to our capital ships, guys? Guys, what happened to our capital ships? Oh my goodness. You ding-dongs. Alright, that's the case. You guys are stupid. Well, 
That sucks. All right, construction four. Let's grab some more ex excavation two and probably do a few more ships off. Well, we lost quite a few destroyers. That sucks. Technically, it was still a victory, but still, not great. And over here, just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Push, 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 push. We're getting into Spain, hopefully, or Iberia. Wow. Um. Well, we probably lost that sub, but whatever. Uh, it was a British ship. Okay, it's a British ship. That's fine. Um. Since we're down here, let's do some naval stuff too. Capital ship raiders are fine. Um, naval bombers. Actually, get some of these fighters. Do we have any? Oh, we have even more fighters. I didn't know that. Uh, I don't really want to use those guys. It's well, we don't have the the bombers that I want. The naval bombers. So maybe we didn't make any. Oh God, dang it! What the heck? What the heck? That's yeah, all right. Let's do that. There you go. Uh, Cass. Oh, uh, actually, you know, you can hop out here just in case too. There you go. I actually go up to 800. There we go. And one, two, three, four. There you go. Do that. Do that. Do that. There you go. The base might be a little bit too small for that, but that's okay. Assembly line production. There you go. Nice. And I'll keep doing air reduction because we can. Doing quite well. If they're trying to attack us. We attack them. Then we're doing okay. Iran, Iran, what is wrong with you, Iran? This is why we gotta keep making our own refineries. There you go. All right, so we got hit a little bit. We hit them a little bit. Actually, we hit them quite a bit. That's actually kind of nice. Panzer divisions, please. Thank you. We only have two, but they're still okay. They're still using some light tanks, but whatever. How many light tanks? How many medium tanks? We have no medium tanks. Okay. Get another division up there. We might actually do okay with those guys. Overall, we've already broken through the Pyrenees, and there goes the French Commune. All right, then. We broke it through. The question of Yugoslavia. We now stand supreme in Europe. Uh, France was long the foundation of uh, stability in southeastern Europe, but now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit with no one to stop us. It's time to tell the Yugoslavians they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us or they will be swept away. The Tiger cares not for opinions of mice, which is, I think, a focus for... Uh, just like normal Germany, so that's why we got it, I guess. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! We, saw the, we lost a part of the fleet. Guys, guys, you are straight garbage. You're not doing that again. You're going home. You're sad. You're a sad sack of groups, I guess. I don't know. The Bonsi Conference. Today, heads of state and popular figures of the Jewish community have met in Bonsi Villa in order to discuss plans for reconciliation between the Jewish community and the German state, their demands for reparations for lost property and a guarantee of rights. Depending on how much we are able or willing to give, we might also incentivize German or Jewish expats to return home. A simple return of stolen property would probably anger the new owners and cause tensions, but that would cost us less. Return the property. Compensate them very generously. Just guarantee the rights. Eh, I'll probably do that one. Appeal to them. And we do get some more recruitable population, but barely. Atomic bombs, that stuff is nice. Norsk Hydro building projects. We must adjust our industry as well as our short and long term so that they might align with what we need most. Let's create some plans for a variety of situations. Yes. Alright, so down here, oh, that is really bad for supply. That is incredibly bad. I mean, they're not doing well here anyways, but, like, still. Go in, go in, go in. How is the Eastern Front doing? So they still have a port down there, which sucks. These guys are attacking. We haven't really done too much here at all, so. Uh, we're definitely, my main goal for this front is probably to get planes eventually, so. We'll do small little attacks for now, if we can. Are you, are you kidding me? British fleet? The Brits are just some funky people. Portable radios? The more casualties we take, the higher war score participation we get, so. Hey, we're bubbling them out. Look at that. Alright, France has lost 1.65 million. 4 million, whatever it is. Numbers are matters. Numbers are stuff. My apologies, my pronunciation isn't very good right now, but it is what it is. Stein stockpile. Um, I like this one. Einheitswerke. The nickname Unity Factories symbolizes the success of our attempts to reconcile the relations. The state sponsored factories were a result of our decision to compensate without taking away property for another time. Hopefully, more will follow this example. Hopefully. Keep making that stuff, and there goes those guys, too. Alright. Less, less rubber, more tungsten. Nice, we've really pushed. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to. Oh, hello. Um, sure. Oh, I don't want to fight the Japanese yet. No. I don't want to fight them yet. We don't have the, We definitely don't have the Navy for that. How strong are the Iberians? They don't even have cores on their stuff. Okay, yeah. Not bad. Holy crap! How do they capitulate that fast? Um. 
You feeling okay there, UK? You doing okay, man? I mean, yeah, you can have the rock back, but I don't really care about it too much. Um, what is Italy up to? Like, realistically, I think we'll probably have to go to Italy. We gotta contain the fascist threat here in Europe, right? So at this point, all planes created will go to the Eastern Front. Because everyone loves the Eastern Front. Oh, these planes are not gonna get all the way over there. That sucks. Um, yeah, that actually really, 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 really sucks. Uh, close air support, bombers, fighters... Don't get me wrong, we're making quite a few of these guys, but still. Mm. There you go. Alright. Cool. Yeah, we have, like, no planes on this front, which really sucks. Uh, other comments. Let's see. Someone says, am I using a music mod or something? I'm using the DLC radio pack. Sometimes I forget to turn this one back on because they're different mods. Some mods have, like, copyrighted music over here, which is not very good, so. I'm using Alex radio pack. Access radio... This stuff and the classic stuff. So, if you've been wondering what I've been using, that's what I've been using. All right, dig up their entrenchment. Spies are actually, you know, I've been using spies every single campaign. Never really understood what they did too much, but it helps out somewhat. Somewhat. Oh, look at that. All right, so after this focus, let's go back up here and do swamp Germans. Uh, Frisian, Dutch, and Flanderian form the group that we playfully call Swamp Germans. They are very much like us, even though their German sounds like a drunken combination of English and German with a harsh dialect. We should celebrate a cultural connection as well as pursue common goals together. I think I'd read this one last time, but we should restructure our research and form new structures with our new allies over time. That'd probably be good to do. Um, you guys are doing okay. Yeah, you're doing alright. Not great, but alright. Alright, so let's, can we do anything else here? Can this many divisions do attack here? Von Trusco. Oh, Von Trusco. He's going to attack, though. We do have air superiority for now. At least for a while we did. That's good. Actually, if we do any... Let's, let's infiltrate the uh, administration. Why not? Since we're going to be taking these guys out for a spin, let's see what happens. Um, He's a good smoocher. And... Yeah, Emma Hoffman. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Another research slot. Uh, keep doing air stuff, because we always have enough air stuff anyway, so... More infantry, thank you very much. I'm not sure what... Yeah, we probably really do need to get those guys over there. I don't want to go to war with the, the Japanese yet, because I want the British to be, like, okay. I want them to help me take out everyone else here first. Because, actually, we look at this. Actually, then again, the Raj. Uh, we, mm, hmm. we can do them in a faction anyways. Uh, you know, let's, let's, let's finish our focus first, and then we'll do that. Oh, look, even more rubber. Nice. Let me guess. Is it a... F yes. Okay, Purge, I'm done with you. No, I said done. Zero. Thank you. Depth charge mortars. Very nice. Soviet Union doesn't want to trade with us. I wonder why. Um, I'll grab this one because we could actually probably use that. Alright, so what ships can we make? Heavy ships, heavy destroyers. We're going to throw on these bad boys. Some really good radar. Some better engines. Uh, Battleship armor 3 because I like them thick. Dual purpose is super good. That's really good. We're not going to have enough naval XP for all this stuff, apparently. Um, go 3. We have 14 left. Get level 2. Get some more anti-air. We have 4. That sucks. But we can do that, and that's okay. It's not great. I like to give the 3 here, but that's okay. That is A-okay with us. Uh, we need more dockyards, so let's keep going with one more thing of dockyards. We might have to invade the Japanese before we're done here, so... Alright, I did say this one last time, but let's do network research first. Modern Blitzkrieg is very good to grab. We're done with land option, like I said. And that's a little bit ahead of time. It is 41. Sure, more rubber, because we don't want to import too much rubber anymore. At this point, you guys do this. And also, some, there was a comment uh, saying that, you know, you can just combine your armies. You don't have to have all these different, like, generals and stuff like that. I know. I know. It's just the way I like to do it sometimes. Let's see. Someone says that... Okay. Um, what's that one, too? <clears throat> Invite everyone into your faction with high relations for the dreams of Europe, or European dreams. So down here, we need to get rid of France and the Soviet Union, basically, to do that. And then we'd pursue the European dream. We basically get European democratizer, uh, better a better generate world g war goal tension limit. Just if our war goal time goes down by ninety percent, mass impact goes down, resistance target goes down. We'll be known as the European Union. So yeah, we'll, we'll need to have really high relations with everybody. So we'll do that in a little bit. So I do want to really focus on the Soviets for now. Fighting over the river is just going to suck so hard. Uh, we might be able to attack here. Six versus five is probably not going to go super well. Even though I should probably end up using our uh, tanks for this too. Uh, where are the tanks? Nice. 
Nice. Did we lose? Yeah, we did. God dang it. Yeah, I love that the tanks lead. That's fine. Alright, these guys definitely need some help down here, too. Um, hmm. Hey, better cannons are nice. Ships are okay. Get some better of that stuff, too. Hey, again? Uh, oh, probably can't use you. Smoke generators are nice. Come back down here and do some of this stuff. Network research. Appeal to expatriates? Not yet. The Swamp Germans. Because why not? And then... Scandinavian cousins! The Nordic nations are rich in resources and a target of Soviet ambitions. Together we shall secure the seas and bring stability and prosperity to the Germanic countries. Absolutely. Look at that. Nice. Alright, so where are the tanks at? Are you doing okay, tanks? Hope you're having a great day, tanks. As long as they get enough organization, they should push, punch a th hole through here. Go, boys, go! I know it's over everybody, but they can't pierce your big daddy booties. Oh, we're fighting Zukov. Look at that. Followed up with a land purchase. We should propose a peaceful trade agreement to our small northern ally. What might be a small sum for us could mean years of debt-free investments in exchange for a small patch of land for them. Beautiful, my friends. Because now we're going to encircle Riga. We go Bing Bong. I love the Bing Bong. Bing Bong, Ding Dong, Wing. All right, so let's impress these people here a little bit more. Uh, invite the Netherlands. Yeah, that's fine. And we could. I do want more fuel though here. Let's do that first. Propaganda efforts? No. Um, special projects? No. Project? No. There you go. There you go. Millies? Nice. Uh, planes are always good. Uh, we actually have enough of that stuff for now. I want more of this. There you go. If it says we got enough planes, I don't believe them. You're all going to go there. Thank you. Come again. And then you guys... There you go. They join the European Vanguard. Handshake between Dirk van de Geer and Conrad Adenauer. Together we shall withstand anything. Give it another day. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Cool. We need some more cast. Cast go burr. Oh. Well then. Well, well, well. That is it. God awful, ugly flag. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh, what is this? TNO, the Japanese, or the Italians join the Japanese co-prosperity sphere? That kind of sucks, but you guys are great down here. Look at that. The British even came in here, too. Jesus. That's so nice. Good job, guys. Can we actually win here? No, but no. But yes, but no. But yes. Realistically, yes. Let me push through here and cut off some of their lines. All right, Mr. Wheelchair Man. Sure, why not? We are sort of winning, so, I mean, overall it's going to be costly. But like I said earlier, the more casualties we take, um, the better it will be for us. For terms of war score, even though it doesn't really even matter at this point. Alright, thank you. Go right there, and then take another group and go right there. Well. Nice, there you go. You guys should do fine. Ah, at least the Philippines are in the war, right? That's good, right? If that means anything. Look at that. Three asses hours? Yeah, the initial burst is going to be painful, but after that... It should be a nice little a squick squeeze we can put on the Italians. I don't have enough manpower anyway, so. Ah, oh, the Germans awaken! The U.S. has found themselves in world in yet another world war. Let us them know that they're not alone and that they can always be sure of our help and assistance. This time, brothers won't fight brothers. Probably not. Also, is, yeah, Italy, I was just kind of waiting for them to do something here. Not bad. Ah, uh, Eastern Front. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My goal is to kill off Riga. I want those Germans there. I want them German boys. Nothing like a good group of German boys? Mm, I don't know about that. But, let's go in. Ugh, nothing like you and me going in. Let's go straight to Riga. Enjoy ourselves. He's dying. How did you get captured? Why is everyone getting captured? You're still in progress. Oh, someone must have died. Oh, crap. He must have died or something. Ah, oh, cut off from supplies. We love it. Ah, look at that. Not bad. Oh, if you could just squeeze them a little harder. Just just give them a little bit of a squeeze and they'll feel so good. We lost 
50,000 against Italians. Well, we killed off 400,000, so I'm feeling that's pretty good. Even it doesn't look great, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Not gonna lie. All right, boys. Coach student has been wounded, but it's unfortunate. All right, naval torpedo strikes, fallback lines, why not? We have seen the role air, uh, speed plays in modern warfare recently. We must prepare strong fortifications that our troops can retreat to in order to regroup if we can push back too much. We should use the larger rivers to advantage and prepare the bridges with hollow spaces. Yes. Uh, and it must be their land auction. I was wondering why they weren't starving yet. Just give it some time, they'll start starving very quickly. Oh, in fact, Norway. Oh, actually, you know what? Norway, all these guys up here. Oh, I'm at the US first. And the Dutch are already here with us, so... Right? They're our allies. Yeah. Fine with me. Look at that. Why not? Give us some time. Give us some time. Oh, good job, America. Thank you. We're winning right there. We can push over the fall. Whoa. The fall of Tokyo already. Wow. He's probably promoted. It's very nice. Advanced oil processing, very, very good. It is 41, but almost 42, so we, I feel pretty good about doing that. Uh, Sophia Bachhorn. And you go right down here, too, since we're doing it really, too. So. Wow, that many divisions. That's an insane amount. At this point, we're just killing off our own guys, so y'all just hold. It's all right. So hang out. We've lost a lot of guys. We've done really well in Northern Italy. I'm going to wait for our allies to, like, naval invade. I'm not really worried about it, so. Solomon C. Well, hopefully we can do well here. Oh, they're still doing that, which is fine. Oh, and the Japanese are invading the Philippines, so that's fine with us. What happened to... Oh, so this... That's East Vietnam, huh? America should do okay. I'm a little worried about... No, oh, oh. Well, bad words. America's doing great. We did see Tokyo fall, but holy shnikes. America pulled a fast one. Holy crap, we lost a lot of guys. Then again, they have a lot of little destroyers here, but... It's all right. Supplies not great down here, huh? Oh, can we not capture the person? Or no, oh, that sucks. Are they starving yet? No, they refuse to starve. Okay. Fallback lines, very nice, very nice, very nice. There you go, go on two, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Help them out, help them out. There are just a few Soviet boys here. Very nice. Uh, more panzers? Yes. Um, the Oda Line. The 840 kilometer long Oda River along the Silesian hot land leads into a lower Baltic Sea, which is fortified to secure Berlin. But really, Frankfurt is the most important right now. That's a lot of ships, but you know what? Any damage or ships we lose right now, or planes we lose, it's fine, whatever. Oh, uh, that's a case. If you guys are. Oh, what is this? Mexican entry? Okay, sure. Uh, FDR sponsored a request from Mexico for entry into the European vanguard. Whether Mexico seeks mutual protection or foreign expansion is unknown, but Mexico's oil is a lucrative asset to have on our side. We'll sponsor Mexico's entrance of the European vanguard. Nothing like Mexicans fighting Japanese people. Thank you, Mexico. Very cool. Thank you, Denmark. Handshake of Thorvald Stalnung and Adenauer, and Kisoti, Kisosti and Kalio, and Johann Nigarzvold. Awesome! Are they doing force defense? They might be. Yeah, they're literally doing force defense. Look at that. Oh, hello. How oh, good job, Finland. They're literally doing force defense. That is admirable. I will say that's quite admirable. Too bad, I'm going to do force attack then. Ah, look at those divisions literally die. Beautiful. Ah, yes. As it should be. Sure, guys, went out. Yeah, I know this is really bad down here, but whatever. Um, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, like seriously, I'm just gonna wait for these guys to do stuff around here. America will naval invade. They will. They will go to town on your their little booty. So, I'm more focused on the eastern front, anyways. All right, boys, let's make this easy on us. Bing, bong, boom, go. What the heck are you doing? Go right there, guys. No, no, no. You hold. You guys go here and then do that. There you go. And there we go, nice.
I realize in here, so I don't really care. Very good. Not much, but it's honest work. And the Finns have been pushing in, and at this point, we're going to do a general attack, I think. I don't think that the Soviets were planning on our allies navally invading them. So they're looking very weak across the line, so give them five seconds. Five, four, three, two. We need way more fuel to do this, but let's go. Look at that. And we need a few more dudes doing this. Very nice. And, uh, that's okay. Well, yep, America's here. Thanks for the fuel. Let's give me a few more of these guys. Bing, bong, 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 bing. Bing, bong, 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 bing. Ah, that's how we do it here. Uh, let's get you close enough to being down. I'll take you first. Nice. Arado, very cool. Um, let's come back over here and keep doing this stuff. It's definitely a mixed bag, but with all their naval invasions, I just don't think they can do too much here, can they? They have a lot of manpower. Equipment-wise, though, they'll probably start dropping a little bit more and more and more radically as time goes on. Yes. How are the tanks doing? Are we forcing the attack? We should force it. The order line, Elba line. The 1.094 kilometer long Elba River flows through the hotland of Germany and Bohemia. It is also connected to the two major cities, Berlin via the Spree River, and to Prague by the Viltala and Moldau River. Why do we need that? Because we can get that. Ah, oh, look at that, we're actually finally sinking stuff. Hey, we captured somebody nice. Of course, it is 42, so we can get 43 stuff, but better guns first. More casualties for us means more uh, war score. We got over one and a half million of them so far. That's pretty nice, actually. All right. Oh, hello, the Christiana Skarbek. Hello, Christiana Mama. Oh, they got Lenny Grab back. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, well, okay. Well, I'm just gonna drive him into our arms, but okay, sure, why not? And by Sweden? Yes, please. How much PP do we get? Only point six seven. Why is it so low? Improving relations. Oh, that's why. They join Per Albion, Alvin Hansen, and Conrad Adenauer. Thank you, guys. I'm going to stop improving relations because we don't care about you anymore. Who's not in the faction? That's European. It says the Italians, these guys, Irish, and Turks, and uh, Greeks. Hmm. We need logistics. I keep forgetting logistics. Hey, no second one. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of green. I love it. This is almost too easy, man. How are we looking down here? Um, I think the allies are probably just going to... Well, our, our allies are just going to be focusing here first and pushing through here, so... I mean, look at that. I mean, they give them time, and America and the UK are just going to invade out of the wazoo, so... Nope, Mexico, as much as I appreciate it, uh, we're okay for now. Any upgrades? No, that's actually surprising. Uh, Von Klug. Here, recover faster. How many tanks do we not have right now? We actually have quite a few. Nice. We can do that too here. Um... Oh, Japan. How have you not capitulated? You've lost literally the entire islands. Toyohara. Like... Toyota. Huh. What the heck? Elba River and Stetten stockpile. We should create large stockpiles of different areas in Stetten in case their supply from North gets jeopardized. Additionally, we will set up recycle factories that can melt down older and used equipment if need be. Stetten is a pleasant spot as it lies directly next to the Oda River. I'd love to invite him, but. Oh, he's probably promoted. Um, Dutch, Belgian. Oh, we can't do that one technically because. Well, they're not a puppet and stuff. Alright, so how much more equipment do they have? <clears throat> they have quite a bit. But then again, they're fighting on so many different fronts. They're out of artillery, they're out of anti tank, they have no motorized, they're out of planes. That's what I, we like to see. So Poland can hold on to that territory for us now. But I will probably want to figure out what we want to do with this stuff later on. Alright. Oh, don't debate stuff. So. Oh, there goes Maleo. That's fine, whatever. Um. Sure. Uh, 
Alright. Do more ship stuff because I don't trust my navy. Their ammo is not very good, so. Um. Vladimir Zaimov, yes, why not you? Alright. Really focused on these guys here right now. Really, really flipping focused. Look at that, look at that, nice. Oh, look at that. That's uh, 5 plus 8 is usually 13. Not all the time, but usually 13. Oh, wow, we actually need more resources, too. I might just go down to no exports, but we'll see what. Oh, maybe not. Alright. Still building some civvies. How are the, how's rubber doing? We're doing actually quite well in rubber. We could really use that steel, too, so. Tungsten powder storage. We should expand our factories to process and store larger quantities of tungsten. Absolutely. Actually, for this one, any of the country, original country is not us. I'm currently the only part is not communist. Okay. That'll be good. Chromium furnaces. Our heavy ships and harmony armored tanks can't be built without chromium. If we get cut off from our suppliers, we'll find ourselves in a bad position. We're going in, boys. All going in now. As I said, the UK did do stuff, and by attacking, they can't move their divisions. And these guys should just be able to move out, so. Keep them spaced like so. Even though we're not doing well over here. I mean, they've got to be suffering massive casualties from the Brits or something. They got plenty of rifles, though. No, they got plenty of stuff. Sicily has not been invaded, which is weird. Uh, come on, guys. Come on, British boys. Hey, heavy cruiser something. Nice. Keep them in place. That's all we're here to do right now. Yeah, screw it. We tried, man. We tried, but these guys do not want to do anything. How do you keep getting agents captured, man? I just wish this was... We had to keep clicking on this stuff. And logistics. Nice. And keep fixing these guys up. We need more manpower soon, maybe? We'll see what happens. Uh, no. Mediums. Meds, meds, meds. Do we have enough for this one? No, we don't. We'll do that. There you go. Alright. Raj time. Yes, please. We're missing... Oh, we're actually missing a lot of infantry equipment now. Okay. Quit Indian movement. So be it. I'll go by another 10. We can throw on stuff from you guys. It's fine. Soviet-wise, we've done 32%. America's done probably a good number as well. 3%. Okay, never mind. Um, we've killed off how many Soviets? Just 2.6 million? That's not bad. Italy. We killed off Silomo, so that's pretty good, actually. Alright, they're looking really, really Go, 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 go. Don't let it in. Don't give them up. Ah, the part of the fleet's gone too. Nice. And crewman furnaces. Appeal to expatriates. Let's do it around the stall line. If we find ourselves at war with the Soviet Union without proper land and access, we would have to resort to very risky naval invasions. Even then, we have to overcome the Stalin line, which spans 1,835 kilometers from the Baltic to the Black Sea. Unlike the Maginot line, its defense level varies heavily and has some openings. If we can broaden the front, we would be able to exploit those weaknesses. Very good. They're doing force defense. Holy crap. Guys, I need someone to go right here. They're literally doing force defense. Look at that. They're almost dead there. Come on, go in, go in, go in. Why are you taking so long? Oh, we got him anyways. That's nice. That's good. A little bit ahead of time, but whatever. We should probably get some better artillery as well. Italy's going to die. Just like the Soviet Union. I suppose as a consolation prize, we're not actually being able to get anything here. Um, we don't need that for winter, but whatever. Um, well, we don't need that for summer, I should really say. Uh, we have to take care of the territory here, so. Mm. We need better artillery, too. Oh, there goes Italy. Not oh, there goes all. Oh, it goes the entire faction. Alright, let's just try to split this up slightly fairly. Um, just because of how this is going, I want to make sure that we. Let's get. We'll take Italy. We'll take Italy proper, but the UK is going to get all the colonies here. Because I'll probably give Spain to, or Iberia all to the Brits, because they have Portugal over there, and stuff like that. So I'll take France, they get Spain, 
We'll give them the colonies over here too. Um, America gets all the Asian stuff. Actually, China gets. Can have this stuff. I don't really care. You can have Korea. Oh uh, no! Give that to America. Where's America? Italy, Japan. There you go. Nice. Blue Japan. Alright. There no faction. Well they're dead now, so. These guys should be completely out of equipment. Especially now that we can just solely focus on them. They have a few guns left, few guns. Then they can be completely out. You join certain names, yes please. I'll probably liberate these guys too. I don't want to I mean, I don't, I don't get me wrong, I like seeing it like this. I like them big and thick, but still. If they're not big and thick, do we really want them? No, of course not. Sail the high seas? I guess it's technically the ocean. It's kind of ugly, though. It is pretty definitely ugly. Government's in exile, I don't care. Special project, prospect for resources, better guns, better stuff like this. Uh, do we have enough guns for this? We might, we might not, we'll see. Oh! Yeah, we need some of this too. Chromium furnaces around the Stalin line. Yeah. Propaganda efforts. Now nah, we're okay. Followed up with Bundesflotte. The first Bundesflotte was a proposal to create a fleet for the first Bund in 1865, which failed to become reality since the German German War of 1866, which ended the First Confederation. Maybe this time we can bring this plan to fruition. Sounds like a good idea. I don't think the Soviets will be able to stop us this time. Just a feeling. Just a very strong feeling. Hmm. I'm running out of places to put these guys. Alright, looking not too shabby. Gotta wait for that stuff. Didn't think I was going to go to war with Japan and stuff, so, but... You know what? Didn't think... America will take him out by middle 42, so. Oh my goodness, another one, huh? Another one, huh? Another one. They just love getting captured all the time, man. They're doing great, but still. Because at this point, the entire army's dead. We call America, basically the Allies, minus France and their colonies, and us and their colonies. Uh, well, we don't really have colonies, but whatever. And, uh, the Brits in. Yeah, it's a bit one-sided, not gonna lie. Looking pretty good, though. Looking pretty darn decent around the Stalin line, Bundesflotte. And then we'll do the land purchase next. Suicide pills, yum yum. Oh, do we actually get somebody? Say, say well, maybe. Yeah, we got them both saved, maybe. Don't think it's supposed to work as intended like that, but whatever. Fine with me. Here, work buddy buddies. Be buddy buddies. Um, there you go. Go up there, too. You just stay home. Help defend. Alright, and we'll do land purchase. Yeah, we should propose a small peaceful trade agreement to a northern, smaller northern ally. Well, might be a small sum for us, can mean years of debt-free investments in exchange for a small patch of land reform. That's fine. Not sure this is really balanced, but I kind of doubt it is. Ground support. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. How are you guys doing? Anyone else have upgrades? No? Okay. Um, how many divisions does the Soviet Union have left? Almost none. We've delivered 30.7 million casualties. The Poles and Lithuanians have done about a million themselves, too, which is pretty darn decent, I'm going to say. We don't really got one, so there you go. And actually, since we have tanks here, too, might as well. Saves on fuel, too. Nice. I love hungry. Thank you for the aluminum. How many divisions I've left? They have 57. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty darn good. So, yeah. Gross Deutsche Bund. Not too difficult, as long as you sort of know what you're doing. Somewhat. Somewhat. Better radar. Yeah. Start doing nuclear reactors. 
All right, 43. Let's grab some of this stuff, too. Here you go, repair. Boeing. Lone Wolf, huh? Very nice, very nice. Oh my goodness, they're so close. I'm kind of surprised that these guys have not invaded Vladivostok yet. I'm actually very surprised that these guys have not. Are you guys not at war with the Soviets? Hmm. So that's 14 day focus, followed up with what? A field expatriates? We should extend our engagement and offer lucrative conditions to Jewish and German expats and especially to scientists. This should increase our research capabilities in the sheer population sphere. Yeah, po potential. Also open for the opportunities. Um, let's see what happens. You guys come down here first, I suppose. Cool. Well, Bulgaria, I think, wants a lot. The Greater Balkan Union probably wants a whole lot here. We'll see. Can we actually go to war with the Turks? No, we cannot. Land purchase? Great. Followed up with the Gottingen, Gottingen Project. Einstein, Oppenheimer, Bertha, Bohn, Bohr, Johann Heisenberg, and Weizsäcker to cons constitute the research group tasked with developing the atom bomba as part of the Uran Project. The secret undertaking is nicknamed after the formerly, uh, formerly, formerly leading university of physics of Gottingen. Gottingen. Something like that. Oh, a little bit of lag here. All right, it seems like they have capitulated. Not bad, not bad. So the Brits. You're gonna follow over area, all of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. I will. Uh, well, you know this is gonna look better if we just give them all the French colonies. That's all we care about. Nice borders. Because I'm sure that's what all the uh, victors of World War One thought in our timeline. Just as long as the borders look nice, that's all that matters. Cultural stuff doesn't. Who cares? Borders. Nice looking. Super, super important. Sorry, America, you're not going to get much out of this deal. I'm also taking Mongolia. Alright, Soviet Union, French Commune. Thank you. I'll get liberated with Italy, huh? That'd be kind of weird. And eh, Soviet Union time. Sorry, guys. If I can give you, like, other states, we'll see what happens, but... I mean, I guess I could pop with them, but whatever. Thank you. Because I'm sure they have claims over here somewhere, right? Do I remember correctly? Hmm, we'll see. Alright, not bad. Uh, can we give our territory back to our allies? I would love to do that. No? Can we give our territory back? We can still release nations, which is not bad. Oh, let's give them... Yeah, that's fine. Um, return territory, that's fine too, yeah. There you go, guys. Nice. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Um, what do we have? Greece, release nation, return territory. Uh, no. Floating fortresses. Let's grab this one too. That'll be good. So now we're peace. This is very weird. That we're at peace. Actually, for now, I'm gonna send this army home and train. You guys are actually probably not doing very well down there. Do that too. Cool. So we're basically just waiting for this stuff to get done so we can do Eagle from the Ashes. We've endured. We're not only alive, but we've prevailed in the face of annihilation. What started as an idea has now become reality. Germany's more united than ever. We are truly one people. We no longer need the many flags of the boon, but one central flag and join name. Cool. What other territories can we... Oh, I guess we'll do this one first. That's fine. Territories we can kind of liberate-ish. No, no. Cameroon, no. Guadalupe, no. At this point, time doesn't really matter too much. There you go. Ah, four more days, three more days. That's not too bad. Uh, I'll do this one. Naval Vefa would be lovely, but whatever. All right, all right. Really, turn territory. No, that's pretty much it. No, no, Albania. No, 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 no. Not bad overall. I mean, we really want to get handsy here. It's weird we don't have the option to like release them from like events and such, but whatever. Yeah, the German war machine is very strong. They unite. 
Germany reborn. What was once broken is now won, reforged by the fires of war. Our spirit is unbroken and our ambitions are uh, fulfilled quite quite nicely, actually. We should celebrate this by creating a new national unity holiday called Tag der Deutschen Einheit, where it lies on the horizons now within our, re within our reach for a greater tomorrow. Nice. More daily political power plus one ideology drift defense, a less communist and fascist sport. United. Oh, we're just called G United Germany. Nice. All under one government. Followed up with natural borders of Germany. I'm just kidding. Pursue the European dream. Our strategists came to the conclusion that the best way to prevent another European or world war would be the unification of Europe into one powerful state that would deter any outsiders to take arms against us. This construct could remove tariffs and standardize our economy. It would, be greatly, it would greatly reduce the individual military burden and secure vital resources for the entirety of Europe. Now we'll get that one too. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, Sant Jokenstall. Economic Potential. Special Forces. Uh, distinct branches. As you can tell, I'm pretty much done here. I mean, we were, we, I, I can't believe we already took out Japan, America. You did exceedingly well this time. Naval ship office, which actually looks pretty darn good. Um, everything else up here we've done. So anything else that I've not clicked on yet, as part of the normal German stuff, which I'm probably not going to do. So, but yeah, not bad overall. Not bad. Gotta love efficiency. Oh, we can integrate these guys. We need less. Comp oh, 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 let's see. Sure. Istria. All right, that's cool. And for the Netherlands, I'll expand the Ledo Road. Sure, China, sure. And well, oh, we're gonna get the UK with us. Oh, that sucks. Donate fighters, Bulgaria. Sure, there you go. United Kingdom. Oh. That's very weird. I guess they just decided not to join us. All right then. Uh, okay. Uh, sure, guys. Chinese wants us to join their faction. Nah, we're okay, guys. We're okay. Um, I guess we lost our faction, which kind of is dumb, in my opinion. That's kind of stupid. Now we're at war with it. Yeah, I don't know if this is really finished yet. The dawn of the European Association. Yeah, I don't know about that. But I guess that's going to be it for us here. I mean, I guess we do Rhineland, Danube Blind, and close, close the gaps, but eh, I think we're okay here. I just want to kill these guys off to see what happens. we got so much manpower already. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. I have a lot of planes. I'm not really too concerned about it. Oh, if Denmark. These guys are join. What the heck? We got cores on all of them, but you know what? Democracy? Well, we know elections, as someone did say. We the European Council, too. So, alright. I think that's going to be it for us, guys. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.